What's up there YouTubers and fellow riders, the chemist back at it again in the garage cooking up another DIY for you on how to test your stator. Um, for those of you who don't know, there are three phases in your, or three parts in your electrical system. There's your stator, which, which produces the electricity, which is basically like an alternator if it was a car. Um, there's the voltage regulator or the, the regular rectifier, your double R, and then there's your battery. If you're experiencing an issue like I am where your battery is not being charged uh, to full capacity or if you're not seeing um, the 14.2 to 14.5 volts uh, if you are one who has a vol voltage meter on your bike like I do uh, during your ride you're supposed to be seeing uh, at least about 14.2 14.5 volts uh, at about 5,000 rpms or above so if you're not seeing that in your test or if you're actually you have your meter hooked up to your battery and uh, positive positive negative negative you start your bike up and you rev it up to about 5,000 rpms and you're not seeing that four 4.2 4.5 around that range of voltage being dumped back into your battery then you apparently have an issue going on and uh, this could possibly be one of them now um, what I want to do to, for you today is show you how to test your your uh, stator here and what I got going here is I got my my digital multimeter hooked up here and I have it set to ohms and to the lowest setting as possible and I'm just going to basically test my three uh, three leads here and according to the service manual you are supposed to be getting anywhere in the range of 0.2 to 0.9 on your re on your meter so I'm gonna go ahead and test that for you now for those of you wondering what happened to the connector that goes on to here I snipped it off and that's for good reason because right now I'm, I'm experiencing a problem where my battery is not being fully charged uh, during my ride and when I cracked open the tank and got in there this was the reason why this is my second connector that I've gone through and uh, I've always kept saying I'm gonna hardwire it in hardwire it in well today I'm finally gonna do that and for this very reason that's uh that's pretty messed up there so as you can see I had it taped up before because I had actually cut this connector off a, a junk harness that I had um, here in the garage so um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this today and just straight hard wire it in what I've done is I snipped off my connector off my brand new stator now <clears throat> there wasn't a really an issue with my other stator but I was getting inconsistent readings so since I had a spare one laying around in the garage I thought I'd hook it up anyways um, just to eliminate all issues so right now I'm gonna have a brand new battery which is my new Shirai battery my lithium iron battery I got my new MOSFET FHO 20 AA regulator rectifier from um, roastercycles.com and now I got my brand new uh, stator going on here for night which I bought off for eBay for a couple bucks 20 30 bucks I forget how much it was but at any rate let's move on with this tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to test it so um, in case you're wondering there is no polarity when it comes to the stator so it's just basically coil windings so you're gonna hook up one of your leads doesn't matter which one it is to a wire and you're gonna connect another one and test the other wire and you should be reading uh, anywhere between 0.2 to 0.9 ohms on your meter so as you can see that's that's perfectly within specs we're gonna move on to the other one yeah with that one connected 4.4 uh, ohms which again is in spec now to show you that there is no it doesn't really matter how you connect these things up I'm gonna go ahead and connect this one over here and grab the bottom lead here and no matter where we connect it you're still going to get the 0.4 ohm reading and there we go so this doesn't this doesn't specifically need to be done off the bike you can test this um, on the bike simply disconnect your connector and put in your prongs in here and measure your uh, get your your measurement or your reading and um, the only reason why, like I said, I opened it up, I wanted to check after seeing this, I wanted to check and see if any of my coil windings were burnt. Now, if you see, if you do happen to crack yours open or you're experiencing an issue, um, go ahead and take a look at these coil windings. And if you see any of them black or burnt, chances are this is this is bad. So you're going to want to replace your stator. So if you crack it open, just like I did, 
look inside there you see all kinds of black on these nice shiny uh, brownish tin color uh, coils I'd go ahead and replace it because it, it's probably bad and uh, you probably got a uh, some go some electrical issue going on in here and you really don't want any problems when it comes to uh, the voltage being pushed out here so to test your stator while it's on the bike and while running you simply start the bike up or you simply disconnect the battery or sorry disconnect the stator plug while the bike is running and cold you stick your prongs in here your test leads in here and you rev the bike up and once you rev the bike up you should be seeing about maybe 60 I think if you rev it up to 5000 rpms you should be seeing around 65 uh, volts well AC current on your meter so when uh, one important thing is so you don't fry your meter is you're going to want to go ahead and put this on AC voltage so you don't kill your meter out because you will burn it out so um, that's the way you, you test your stator while it's on the bike and running and uh, if you're not seeing that 65 volts if you're seeing something less um, more is okay less is not so good so if you're seeing less then chances are your stator is bad so that's a quick little tutorial for you guys hope this helped you out as always see you next problem